So these right here is the latest upgrades I've done to the bike. Uh, we've got a huge uh, blizzard here in the Northeast. <laughs> Shrimp bisque, thanks to Mrs. Fly and Ride. All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. FNR here. I've got a very different video for you today. I think, as most of you may know, uh, we've got a huge uh, blizzard here in the Northeast. You know, so obviously, we're not going to go out. And the 2020 Street Glide CVO that you see back there. Uh, but I wanted to give you a quick update of what you can expect uh, in uh, upcoming videos. Uh, and then also, I'm actually going to take out uh, the snowblower. I'm going to take out the drone. Uh, the storm is about finishing now. There's still a little bit of uh, snow left. But I want to start clearing the snow before it gets dark outside so I can clear the driveway, get the cars ready. Uh, just so I have everything ultimately cleaned. So I thought I would do a quick video here. Uh, give you an update on what's going to be happening here with this bike uh, here in the, the next several weeks. Uh, and also what you can expect. Uh, but before I do, if you're new to the channel, I'm FNR, AKA Fly and Ride. On this channel, I focus on motor vlogs, ride videos, ride reviews, all on my 2020 Street Light CVO that you see right there. I also feature cinematic drone footage flying my DJI Mavic 2 drone. And uh, we do rides, uh, product reviews, product upgrades. Again, all things on this bike that you ultimately see right there. So do me a favor, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button and hit that bell notification so you can be reminded of future content. So again, quick video. Uh, if you don't like the snowblower or sort of cleaning the snow, uh, no worries. You can skip that part. Uh, but I do want to give you a quick update. So tomorrow, uh, weather permitting, I'm actually going to head over to a local Harley dealer uh, because they have one of the one of the new CVOs in stock, which is the uh, the steel blue uh, color, which is frankly the only one that I liked out of uh, the reveal that happened last week. So I wanna go see it face to face. I'm gonna take you with me. Uh, and then on that video, uh, I'm gonna give you my overall impressions. I know you've seen hundreds of videos already of everyone giving you their perspective and point of view. I'm gonna give you my quick thoughts. I'm gonna give you what I thought went well with the reveal. And then the one area that I thought was lacking in specifically. So uh, you're gonna wanna stay tuned for that. Uh, and then I'm also going to be doing a video talking about what I'm going to do with my CVO. So you're going to want to stick around. But for now, I'm going to show you the latest addition that I put, the, that I put on the bike. Uh, again, I can't take it out right now, obviously, for a ride. But I want to show you here real quick. Uh, and then the rest of it is just going to be me showing you the, uh, showing you the snow removal. Uh, I'm going to fly the drone. I'm going to show you from above. It should be pretty cool. We've got about 15 inches of snow here uh, in my area. So if you enjoy that kind of stuff, stick around. Uh, but if not, let me show you real quick what I just added to the bike. Uh, and then in a future video, I'm going to do a full review uh, on these uh, and give you my overall impressions as well. So as you can see, I've got the snowblower ready. I've got the drone ready. Uh, but let me show you this real quick. So these right here is the latest upgrades I've done to the bike. Uh, and as a matter of fact, uh, Cycle Fanatics did a, uh, an awesome video recently, which is uh, a very quick install super easy so i'm not going to do a uh, an install video here but i wanted to show you real quick especially for this uh, winter riding and uh, all of this cold weather i think it's going to work really really well i haven't tested it yet but frankly i hadn't put them on because i didn't think i was going to like the way that they look uh, but i think they look really really awesome this is uh made by memphis shade <laughs> one of our buddies from the crew Bo. Uh, had an extra set. I purchased it from him. So, Bo, thanks. Thanks for As a matter of fact, Bo has got uh, a new account set up on Instagram called Jersey Bagger. So, make sure you go over to Instagram and give him a follow. And I think he's going to be doing a YouTube channel in the near future. So, uh, Bo, thanks for making these available. And also, just give him a follow if you can on Instagram and stay tuned. Uh, he may be doing a, uh, a YouTube channel. These look, I think, pretty cool. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Uh, I think they're going to work really well. I've seen a bunch of different reviews on it. Uh, again, in future videos, I'm going to do a ride video. I'm going to test it with the heated gloves, without the heated gloves, and just give you my overall impressions. But for now, I just wanted to show you this here real quick because I think they look really, really cool. And it's the latest addition that I've done to my 2020 Street Glide CVO. Let me show you that now real quick up close.
So I think they look pretty cool. So do me a favor. Let me know down in the comments below. Do you have these? Uh, have you tested it in cold weather? Would love to know. Just let me know down in the comments below. All right, so the rest of this video, uh, it's just gonna be me clearing out all of the snow. I'm gonna show you here real quick how much snow we have. It's actually still snowing out there. I'm gonna launch a drone, just have some fun. Believe it or not, I actually enjoy this stuff. It just brings me back to when I was a kid. And uh, up to this point, I still enjoy it. I get it, it's a bear for many. It's a pain in the neck. Uh, but hey, I'm gonna have fun with it. And I figured I'd, uh, I'd uh, videotape it. I've got the 360 on here. I've got the drone. I've got this... Uh, Pretty cool Club Cadet snowblower, which is uh, which works pretty well. Uh, I got it probably about, I don't know, maybe two, three years ago. And uh, it's 26 inch, just the right amount of size for what I have to clean. So uh, it's got an electric start, which actually works well. I'm gonna show you that entire process here. So uh, again, uh, if you like this kind of stuff, enjoy it, watch it. I'm just gonna be uh, playing some tunes. Uh, you'll probably be hearing and seeing the snow from all different angles. So hopefully you enjoy that. Do me a favor, if you like this video, hit that like button, hit that bell notification, and hit that subscribe button. Would love to have you as the channel continues to grow. Uh, and then I'll come back at the end and uh, close this video up. So you can't really see it here uh, because a lot of the snow has drifted, uh, but we got a good about 15 inches of snow total uh, on the ground. And uh, so what I do, is especially when we expect a lot of snow like this, I just park all of the cars on one side. You know, that way, once I clean this side here, all I gotta do is just move the cars this way and I don't have to plow underneath the cars. So it just, it's a practical way to minimize the amount of work that we have to do. So uh, as you can tell, it's still snowing a little bit. I'm gonna launch the drone here and uh, give you a bird's eye view. Uh, and then I'll give you some, uh, some cool angles as I use the snowblower to clean all this stuff out. Enjoy. After three hours of cleaning, time to have some homemade shrimp bisque, thanks to Mrs. Fly and Ride. That's yuca, AKA cassava. 
with some nice toasted garlic bread. Cheers. Thanks for watching.